Hey everyone, it's Jarvis. I hope you've been well. It's actually been a couple days since I've uploaded a video. It's been pretty busy, but I figured I'd check in with everyone and no, I didn't go into the abyss and disappear. So, reflecting back on this past weekend, I think I might have mentioned volunteering. It's something I've kind of been doing a lot of lately, trying to get more involved in the community and do a couple of different things. But this past Saturday, what I actually did is I volunteered for an alumni event. I'm an alumni of Strayer. I earned my MBA from there. So it was actually in downtown Charlotte. It was at the Spectrum Center, which if you know or get to know me, I don't do very, very much driving downtown. I'm from a country town, small town, so we never really had much use for a downtown area. And what we have is a downtown area you could throw a stone and hit the other side of it. But anyway, Charlotte's kind of big to me. I guess it's not big in comparison to other cities, but it's a little intense and there's a lot of one ways and things like that for me because I like to know where I'm going. I like to be able to get there and I don't like to have to go around a bunch of different places. So I plug this address into the Spectrum Center into my GPS in my car and you know I'm heading there. I'm actually kind of rushing. I think I had to be there. I want to say at 12.45 by that time. So I'm already freaking out because I felt like I was going to be late and I had a whole 30-45 minutes to play with by the time I got there. So my GPS tells me to turn left. I actually see a parking lot, an open one, you know, that's paid, of course, off to my right. But, you know, I'm following GPS. It's like, I don't want to get stuck on these one-way streets, driving around in circles, so on and so forth. So I pull into a parking deck right beside the Spectrum Center. Didn't really think much of it. You know, I'm thinking, hey, it's the weekend, so the rates are probably lower and it shouldn't really cost that much. So go in, participate in the event, had a great time, you know, congratulate a lot of the graduates for a great job and kind of told them a lot about the Alumni Association and got ready to leave. Left probably about 3.15ish. I decided to walk out to the car with another volunteer. You know, we kind of parted ways. And I get back to the parking deck. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I got my little ticket. I, you know, pull out, get to the little thing, and I'm scanning my ticket. And I've never really encountered one like this in the parking deck. It was kind of a pain, honestly. I'm scanning the ticket. And I guess maybe I was in shock when I saw the price that it said. I was only parked there for probably about maybe two and a half hours, no more than three, and it was $21. And I'm kind of like, are you serious? Like, I was barely here. Is this I can park here and then come back later on within the day and I can park or I can get the rest of this $21 worth of parking later on down the line? It was pretty, pretty stupid. And so I scan it. I'm trying to get it to read my card. It's not really reading my card. Then this guy rolls up and I guess he was the security he helps me check out and literally I was sick to my stomach $21 like that's insane to me I could have went and bought some groceries with that so kind of the message here is if you're in Charlotte you're visiting make sure you know where you're parking and I would probably recommend not parking in a parking deck especially on the weekends because apparently you're gonna pay premium and it really wasn't that special. I didn't have a concierge or anybody come out and park my car or take my bags or anything like that. So it was pretty, pretty stupid, I think. And I actually think this was the Bank of America parking deck. So I should have known better considering that it was Bank of America. So, you know, I guess I supported the cause. I supported the machine, if you will. But lesson, you know, lesson learned. I'll park in an outside parking deck from here on out and hopefully everything will be okay. But like I said, I had a good time. I just kind of felt like, you know, I got a t-shirt, a polo to wear for the event. And, you know, I pretty much paid for that polo shirt because I did the event for free and I had to pay that much for parking. But anyway, just a note to the wise. Keep an eye on parking in Charlotte and make sure you're parking somewhere that's going to be a decent price, especially if you're not going to be there all day. It, it makes no sense to pay $21 for two and a half hours worth of parking. That's just crazy. I still help have the ticket, so hopefully maybe I, I have some credit or something. I can go use it later on. Anyhow, guys, thanks for checking in. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and be sure to like. And also subscribe to my channel. Later.